Welcome back to the sixth annual Halloween special. We are talking about horror movies for the rest of October, and I've had various people on already, and I wanted to bring on a really good friend of mine. His name is Rob. <laughs> How you doing? Rob is an incredible actor. Like, you Thank really, you. you blew my mind when we Thank worked you. together. I'm serious. I appreciate that. I'm not saying that because you're right here, <laughs> and because you're very handsome. <laughs> we wanted to talk about Evil Dead, um... Because I feel like both of us have sort of like a personal affinity for this movie oh, yeah. in some way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah. I haven't actually asked you. We wanted to save it all for the video. So, like, what's been your experience with this film, like, you know, when you were younger and, and, and to now? I was freaked out when I was young. I didn't know what I was like, expecting, especially with the lady trying to pound against the, 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 like, the bottom of the basement and everything. Right. And the, the makeup and all that. I was a little bit intimidated and scared by watching it in the beginning. So, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't see it when I was a kid either. I never saw it um, until I was older. In fact, I think I saw Evil Dead 2 before I saw this. I'm not oh, sure. Groovy. Groovy. Evil Dead 2 is basically kind of a remake of this. It's kind of interesting how <laughs> yeah. Sam Raimi went about doing it. Works. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it was kind of like he was like, look, we, we had fun making this, but let's try to make one and just do it better. It's called Evil Dead 2. <laughs> better production value, I guess. Right. What this movie feels like to me mm -hmm. is two guys in their backyard making a film, and they just did it. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Let's do it. Right. Cabin in the Woods. Guy, girl, demons, let's do it. So if you've never seen Evil Dead, uh, which you should, it's basically uh, some teenagers go to a cabin in an old car that shows up in every Sam Raimi movie, by the way, that, that yellow Pretty car. Pretty much. It's even in Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2. The, is it? It's Uncle Ben's car in Spider-Man. I didn't know that. Did you just have a, like a conniption for a second? I did. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, I was like, have Uncle Ben pull up. With great power means great responsibility. Yes, like, yes. what? That's the car. Wow. He, he puts the car in all of his movies. All right. And Bruce Campbell in most of them, too. <laughs> right. So they're pulling up to this cabin, and they're going there to be, you know, teenagers or whatever. Yeah. Even though they look like they're 25. Oh, what is a bad haircut. Oh, my God, the haircuts <laughs> and the wigs, too, the wigs. <laughs> yes. So they're going to this cabin, and they stumble across all this stuff in the basement. There's this old tape recording of somebody talking about experiments. Uh, he's discovered this book that has the ability to, to raise the dead. Yeah. His wife has become infected by this somehow. And in a few quick shots, really without much exposition at all, save yeah. for the tape. You get everything you need to know. That was it, yeah. You got the one guy walking through the basement, and he sees the weapons. Yeah. He sees the book. Mm -hmm. The gun. Every, yeah. The gun. Yep. Every single thing that has to be in the film to propel the plot along is basically shown to us within the first few minutes. That was it, yeah. And then it's just action, 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 right. action. And the blood. The and blood. Quite a bit of fucking blood. A lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the practical effects. Oh yeah, and the makeup. I think for me, the makeup and the contacts, or just the makeup itself, and I was like trying to figure out like, how how are they seeing through it? Because I can see like the contact lenses, but there's like, I don't know if I'm wrong or not, but I know there's a part of the makeup where it's like just a mask. It did look like that. Yeah, especially when they're just like like going after him and stuff like that. And then the movements, the, the, like the one movement when she was in the bed, his girl. Yeah. Uh, when that when she had the little wound and then all of a sudden it spread mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden she came up like like that the, it was a board game. Uh, don't, don't wait, wait daddy. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That reminded me of. Don't wait, daddy. Wait, she walked like rah. Oh my god. <laughs> where you try to sneak into the kitchen without waking daddy. Laugh in a noise, it could be back to bed for you. No way, daddy. From Parker Brothers. I think one thing I liked were just the camera angles. Oh my right. God. And I'm not, like a, I'm not like a filmmaker per se. I, I, like I dabble into it right now, but the fact that there was like one scene where uh, when they were, um, after a girl got chopped all up and they, they uh, buried her, it was like a simultaneous like, I don't know exactly, I'd like to do some research on this, I don't know what type of cameras he used, but when I was watching it, I kept thinking to myself, I wish that I could put the camera in these places, that yeah. whatever he's doing. There's a shot of, uh, like an up angle shot of, of Bruce Campbell standing, and he like moves his foot across the lens. Yeah! And I'm like, I couldn't fit a red there. Like, unless you literally had him standing in a different spot, took the ground out from, from underneath, right. or have him put the camera like there. A, a glass box or yeah. something like that. Like the camera above Bruce Campbell as he walks, and you see the ceiling boards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, with the sound effects, yeah. yeah. Wow. 
one. The sound effects too are fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's talk about. <laughs> and then when he opened up the gun, <laughs> the same sound effect. We we rewatched this tonight, and and I heard you go like, <clears throat> like I, I heard you in the background laughing <laughs> every time it happened. Like, I'm big on sound because yeah. I love the quiet place and I like the way the sound sure. is. So like sound is very important to me in the movie. So that the fact that they kept playing the same sound <laughs> effect because it was like the clip yeah. and then the hook. And I was like, that's a different sound. That has to be a different sound. Like, I'm curious. I wonder, do you think that Raimi did that purely because low budget and not a lot of sound or because he thought it was funny? Because there's definitely like a hard, like a comedy say, edge. For me... From outside looking in, I might say I might say he just thought it was funny. I actually kind of think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there's tons of docs about this movie and featurettes, and he's talking about up it. Pick sound anywhere, but like, and, and I've never heard him say anything. Yeah, you know, but like that could be really why. I mean, there's there's a <laughs> lot of moments like that too that are so fucking funny. Yeah, like uh, Campbell with like that big wood beam just bashing his <laughs> on the head. And it's starting to break. Yeah, it's starting start to break. He's like, I'm gonna just use the less the, the little the little stuff and just turn it like this. There isn't like an ounce of pretentiousness in this movie. Mm -mm. Like they were just literally making whatever right. they wanted. Yeah, this is our movie. This is my my dream. Yeah. We're gonna collaborate. Hey, just good idea, bad idea. Let's do it. The zombie woman's gonna be here, and you're just right. gonna punch her in the face. It's fine. <laughs> right. You're gonna slap her for a few <laughs> times. <laughs> I was like, because I, I haven't watched this movie. Great in angle years. though, but the slap. Great angle. Oh, I love. Okay, <laughs> you got me on two things. I have to say one, and then I want to say the other. Okay. Uh, one, the angles are just so creative constantly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wherever he puts the camera, he he utilizes this space, this little tiny space they have. They have the woods, right. the car, and the the house, and that's mm -hmm. really it. But the other thing is Bruce Campbell's physicality. Oh yeah. He owns this movie. I mean, like, Heck throwing yeah. himself into bookshelves, downstairs. Let it fall on him. Yeah. And he's struggling. You can he's, tell he's, he's struggling. He's punching people. Right. Like, I mean. He's hitting his friend that's like, he's all broken. He has a broken <laughs> arm. He's like, pushing him like this and hitting him in the chest. I'm it's like, great. man. I fucking love he's it. He's dying. He's he's like, like, stop hitting him. You're making his <laughs> life. He's like, hit him in the, hit him in the face. <laughs> After you hit him in the face. It's like, it's like you're lessening his lifespan right now <laughs> right. as you do this. It's your fault that he died. And he came probably actually with murdered him. With and, white eyes. And then he tries to give him a drink. Now, the sun will be up in an hour or so and we can all get out of here together. I was, I was starting to count a little bit. Because he started, he had a little mini monologue and he's right. like giving him a drink. <laughs> and he was doing the same drink, right? Just falling he's down. not even drinking it. And then he was done with it and he, then he dropped it when he died. This yeah. is the kind of shit I love, you know? Like yeah. this movie that's just so aware of itself and gleefully just happy Don't to be a movie. Don't take yourself too seriously in yeah. kind of filmmaking. I feel like any, all these kind of filmmakers should not take themselves seriously because it's, it's fun. It looked like they had fun. That looked like they had fun. Exactly. Movies like this, despite its technical problems, yeah, because there's tons, really. It is. We, we talked about a lot the of sound. Kind of smooth error, you know, errors. there's some shots super out of focus. Oh yeah. But it's these types of movies, strangely, that inspire me more than than some of those like perfectly directed right, films. Right. Right. Because it just you feel like the passion coming through every single frame. Exactly. Like they care about the mistakes, but they don't care about the mistakes because they just want them to make the movie. Bring it out there, entertain the audience. This uh, Blu-ray, by the way, we, we watched it, the new 4K uh, restoration, and it's the best it's ever looked. Still, like, the still, what, what is it called? The ratio? 4 by 3 yeah. Yeah, still had the same ratio, the still grainy feel, grainy feel and everything. I loved it. What do you think of the remake? I've never actually asked you, the, did you see the 2013 I remake? did. I, en I enjoyed the remake. I yeah. felt like it was dark, but I just felt like it just took itself too seriously. I agree. I, I thought it, it was all right. Um, I, I enjoyed... Parts of it. I think it suffered from being overhyped. Do you remember that poster, the teaser poster that had? It, it was like uh, the most terrifying movie I've ever seen. I was like, "That's Isn't not every poster like that nowadays." Just don't overhype it so much. Yeah. You know, like don't make it feel like it's going to be the the next coming of Evil Dead. 
Christ version right. or whatever. Yeah, the remake was directed by uh, Fetty Alvarez. Okay. Uh, he went on to do Don't Breathe, and he's doing the new Dragon Tattoo movie next month. Oh, so I saw that trailer. It looks good. Yeah. Like, he's a talented. He's talented. I haven't I, seen I, Don't I, Breathe, though. What's that? I haven't seen Don't Breathe. Oh, shit, though. it's I good. I still need to see it. It's good, man. You should okay. see it. As far as remakes go, Evil Dead, the remake, like, some people hate it, some people love it. I'm middle, middle of the road on it. I think yeah. it's fine. It, for, for like a serious, non-satirical, non-funny yeah. Evil Dead movie, they did a pretty good job. Like you said, the makeup's great. But right. still, like when I watch this it's one... It's not the original, though. Or Evil Dead 2, or even Army of Darkness. There's just there's this... Right, the skeletons. Passion, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's just not there in yeah. other films nowadays. And what I appreciate... Well, back to on, on the, the remake, what I appreciate about that is his vision, at least... Sure. You know, he still had a vision, and he kind of went out forward, even though had some similarities, obviously, since it's a, it's a remake. But For sure. the fact that he had a, a vision and kind of went out forward, I still appreciate that. Oh, of course, as, yeah. As, as an artist. Oh, of stuff. course. Yeah. And Sam Raimi, historically, has been super supportive of filmmakers. Heck yeah. He always is trying to produce, you know, n- new filmmakers, get people to, to get their films made. He's produ- Go to his IMDb and look up how many movies he's produced. Like, it's a, a lot. It's, it's humongous. And that's one of the reasons I love him, you know, because he's so passionate about film. Yes. And he's, a, he's an artist. But I was surprised how much I loved it because it's been years. Yeah. Since and I the fact that, it. you know, you can still laugh at those little little bits and, and yeah. <laughs> little comedy. The physical comedy. Like I told you earlier, like I love physical comedy. Anything physical comedy, like the old school, like black and white films and stuff like that. But anyway, with this one. It's a classic. I'm curious for you, like, as an yeah. actor, as someone who works on sets, when you receive direction, you know, like, you're yeah. someone who appreciates and understands how a film is made. Yeah. You brought up that point about the makeup covering their eyes. Yeah. When you watch a movie, any movie, or this one in particular, yeah. are you doing that? Like, are you thinking, like, how did the actor do that yeah. in this scene? Because I'm always, like, trying to study other actors and whatnot, because I, I love, like, you know, the Meryl Streep's, the Viola Davis, the Denzel Washington, and all those guys. I, I try to study them and try to figure out why they made those choices. And I even look at, look at like, you know, Bruce Campbell and why he made those choices. Even those little little baby choices of him, like, standing against the the, the door and like looking around and, and trying to figure out what's going on and all of a sudden the girl came out of, the, out of nowhere in the back with those with the dry wood yeah right <laughs> and right then got him, ah! those perfectly cut holes yeah <laughs> <laughs> like with no splinters I ask you that because uh, as for me I, I'm interested in directing mm-hmm. and so when I watch a movie I'm, I'm looking at the way they put the camera and I've always wanted to know how they as someone as an actor stuff. yeah how, how, like are you looking at it from the acting perspective I and am, like wondering yeah. how they those tr- that's that's fascinating to me. yeah that's fascinating to me. Yeah, that's great. And also, I'm trying to look at it as a filmmaking, uh, like a filmmaking perspective as well, just like from a different perspective. I like to make my own little things too. Uh, you know, it's not the best quality, but I don't care. I'd like actually like to just to do something. Yeah, well, any kind of art. To form. support what you just said, though, I, yeah. I guarantee that Sam Raimi looks at this movie today and goes, oh, I would have done so many different things. Yeah. You know, but we, we, are we like look that. at it yeah. and we're like, oh, this movie is right. like, it's, no, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's like <laughs> you hear Spielberg. That's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> like Spielberg many times he said uh, that there's very few of his early films he wants to watch you know like he'll yeah. watch Raiders and E.T. with his kids or whatever but like doesn't like to watch Jaws doesn't like to look at a lot of his movies because he, he mm. always is looking at the, the flaws which yeah. I understand right. you know like I totally get that and so like you, you mentioned like the stuff you want to make maybe you don't have the budget yet yeah. to do what you want to Fuck it, man. You know, right. like, just do it. I, I just have fun. That, that's what they did. Yeah, they just, just did have it. fun and do it. He used his family car, his friend Bruce Campbell. Yeah, you know, and some shitty cabin, and, and that's he made he, like an enduring classic. Out. Yeah, that's how you start out, and then all of a sudden you start making Marvel films or whatever. I don't know. Right. Evil Dead Two, I've always liked more. Like it's like we said, it's like the revamped version of this, but better. Yeah. But for a first time like experience, yeah, the fact that this is still sort of like the cabin in the woods zombie experience movie like it's incredible i love evil dead um as far as flaws it's like it's kind of hard to like nitpick it because like you can pinpoint little things like oh this wouldn't happen like for instance when the girl gets uh stabbed in the ankle i'm like she wouldn't fall asleep Right, she right. wouldn't go to bed. Right, you know, and like, it'd be wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, and she would be up. You know, yeah. she wouldn't. Be, there's like little things like that you could say. You know, like that was kind of dumb or whatever. But it's just one of those things where 
the passion and and just the, the pure ingenuity behind yeah. them wanting to make this movie it sort of just kind of blows it all away and they just it's like whatever man it's like just, whatever just have fun yeah so i'm gonna give the evil dead an a uh shoot I, I, i'm gonna just go ahead and give it an a plus nice yeah yeah i mean it's classic. i really enjoyed it i it's like classic I, yeah i think it's going to be a classic forever it, i agree with you yeah, I, it's one of those timeless movies well rob thank you so much for yeah, joining so me much. it was cool i would love to have you on more it. videos in the future thank if yeah, you'd be man. interested in it um like I said, Rob's an excellent actor. Uh, if you are uh, an Ohio filmmaker or, or surrounding state filmmaker, or fuck it, if you're around the world and you're looking for an actor, check out his demo reel. Uh, he's a beast. Thank you. For I sure. appreciate it. That means a lot. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. We're going to have more reviews for you very soon. So, some more horror films coming out. Uh, some new stuff, some old stuff. My wife will be back in a few. I got some other friends to, to share with you guys. Thanks as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.